Yeah. 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 What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Jada. Almost, almost said Mary Jane Hobson. I'm sorry. I, I keep doing that. But it's your girl, Jada, and I'm back with a little mini video on this six, six inch LED ring light that I got from Wish. And it comes in this little box. I already opened it. Um, it was made in China. The max power is eight watts. Eight watts and the diameter is 16 centimeters. And some other stuff that I'm pretty sure if I don't understand, y'all won't either. So basically, it came in this little box. Shipping was pretty fast. I think it took about a week or two for Wish. I think that's fast. And it just comes like this. And it has like a little thing you can screw it into a tripod. I thought it had a phone thing for it, but it doesn't. So I might have to just, you know, MacGyver it. And it has like this little uh, USB port that you plug into a, like a charger port and you plug it into a wall. And then it has like this little power button and some other buttons that I'm not really sure what it does. Basically, it's just this big. And I'm about to switch to how it looks on the tripod. Okay, so I'm just gonna plug it in and hook it up. And there we go. And I think it said 10 watts or 8 watts or something like that. But for this little bitty thing, it's pretty bright. As you can see, hey, it's your Jada. And this is my Wish Ring Light unboxing. All right, guys. So for 2020, I wanted to go ahead and make a little vision board just so I can not plan out my 2020, but just keep in mind exactly what my goals are going to be for 2020. And starting up here to the far left, I have this body, mind and soul picture. And basically, it's just symbolizing how I've been meditating starting, well, the end of last year, I started meditating. And it's really been making me feel better. So I just wanted to put that up there just to remind myself that it's helped me and to continue doing it. And moving to the right, I have this inhale, exhale sign, basically telling me to like calm down and think about stuff before I react and just remember like what my goals are before I let anybody throw me off or anything. And I guess I can go down here. This is just 2020. And then it says no expectations, no disappointments. So basically I put that on there just to remind me not to have any set expectations on how I think my life is going to go for 2020 just to try to remember what I, how I want it to go. But if it doesn't go the way I want it to go, then not to be disappointed. And up here I have good vibes, which you know, good vibes only in motherfucking 2020 because we're not dealing with no bull. And over here I have Virgo because I really, 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 really am getting more into my zodiac sign and starting to read my daily horoscopes. And it's just really helped me kind of like see how my day's gonna go or sometimes I read them at nighttime and I'm like oh yeah well that makes sense and up here I have self-love baby self-love just basically just reminding myself that self-love is important and to always love myself before I love anybody else and put myself first which I've done all 2019 and I just want to continue doing all 2020 and down here I have a 10 10,000 which is basically what I want for YouTube and up here I have a plane because I want to travel more and I also have plans on moving and I want to move to Arizona so I put the Arizona up there and I have this Canon G7X because I have plans on buying this camera for my YouTube channel and down here I have a hundred dollar bill and I have um I need money not feelings and I have some little hearts because yeah we need money not feelings that's self-explanatory down here, I have a 10K for Instagram because I want to grow my Instagram following. And down here, I have It's Jada, which is my YouTube name. And over here, I have a 10K followers for YouTube. And this is just more like a prettier aesthetic vibes right here, even though I have the same thing right here. 
So basically, that's just my 2020 vision board. I kind of went bigger than I needed. I could have got a small one, but this one came out perfectly fine. I really, really like how I came out. Been working on it for the past couple hours. And yeah. So let's talk about the year 2020 for Virgo. So for you, Virgo, the two major planets that are influencing you next year are Jupiter and Saturn. So with Jupiter, it stays in one house for an entire year, and then Saturn stays in one house for uh, two full years. So those two houses that those planets are in, um, the themes of those houses will be magnified for you. Okay, so let's first start off with Jupiter. Now, Jupiter is a planet of luck, abundance. Um, it's a planet that brings brings all things good. Um, it's a really good luck planet. It brings very beneficial influences. And for 2020, Jupiter is going to be in your fifth house. And so I'm going to be honest, I'm really excited for Virgos because just overall your prediction is really great for next year. So let me get into it. So basically with Jupiter in the fifth house, um, the fifth house is all about fun, indulgence, romance. Um, I say this throughout like a lot of my videos, but the fifth house, I call it the fun house. It's the house of all things pleasurable, all things desirable. It's the house of entertainment, things like that. And it's also the house of talents and creativity. Too. So with Virgo, you have a really significant prediction. I feel like this is a year where you're really tapping into your talents, you're tapping into your creative abilities, and you're not only tapping into them, you're not only paying attention to your hobbies. I feel like you're taking one of your creative hobbies, right, um, and turning it into a business, taking it so seriously that you monetize it, that you um, structure it into a thing where you make money from it. And my biggest prediction for Virgo is that you're going to start monetizing your hobbies. And I feel like this is so significant for you, Virgo, just because Virgos can be so hard on themselves. Virgos are so stressed out a lot of the time because they are perfectionist, right? Um, but what Jupiter is going to do for you, being in your fifth house for the year, it's going to give you almost like this weight lifted off of your chest, off of your shoulders. You're going to have so much more fun. You're going to have more social time. Um, you're going to have a really popping romantic life. Um, and you're just going to really be channeling in your creativity. You're not going to be so stressed out next year. Um, I feel like next year you're just going to be indulging quite a bit. And the fifth house is also a very lucky house in astrology and in your birth chart. Um, some astrologers would argue it's like the luckiest house in your birth chart. So to have the luckiest planet Jupiter in your luckiest house next year is just going to be a popping year for you overall. <laughs> um, and it's also funny too because um, Jupiter is also influencing your first house and your ninth house so houses one five and nine are influenced next year for you um because those houses are like your um earth houses and they try each other but basically having jupiter also influence your first house you're going to be feeling very confident so optimistic like this is so significant for virgos because they can be so cynical right so pessimistic at times and critical but next year nothing can stop your stride seriously um you're going to be so optimistic you're going to have a new outlook on life you're going to have these hobbies that you monetize that you're not afraid to do so um i feel like you're going to have this boost of confidence that you didn't have before um and just be creating almost like your dream life because of this confidence you have and this creativity um you will be gifted with um also ninth house is the house of travel too so jupiter influences that house as well for you so you might be traveling um ninth house is expansion as well so overall there's just like a lot of expansion for you in a positive direction and also i will say that your romantic life is like emphasize next year um fifth house is the house of romance and dating so i wouldn't be surprised if you got into a new relationship or you just had a lot of suitors like a lot of people like chasing after you like hopefully in a good way but like a lot of people that want to date you a lot of people that desire you um you're gonna have options next year virgo i feel like virgo i said this about cancers too but cancers and virgos are gonna have really great years next year okay and then the second part of this is that um like i said we have jupiter um, influencing you next year, but we also have Saturn. Now, Saturn stays in one house for two years, so Saturn is going to be in your sixth house next year, starting in March. So with this, Saturn kind of is like the party pooper of astrology. I feel like Saturn is like the, um, it brings structure, it brings discipline, it brings restriction, delays. It's a little bit more of a harder planet because it gives you more hard lessons in life. So the fact that it's influencing your sixth house Sixth house is all about health, work, routine, 
your diet. So having Saturn here, you might be adding more structure to your routine, more structure to your work life. Um, but honestly, I feel like Saturn honestly manifests a lot of times in a very challenging way. But for you, Virgo, I feel like it's going to manifest more positively, if that makes sense. Um, because Saturn's going to be activating your houses 2, 6, and 10. And those are the houses. Uh, 10th house is the house of career. 2nd house is the house of money. 6th house is the house of work. So I feel like Saturn combined with this Jupiter energy of you kind of paying more attention to your hobbies and talents and even monetizing them, it really represents you maybe even turning it into a business like I said. You're going to be very career focused next year and very um, fun focused, like very creative next year. Um, but I feel like what I see for Virgos is you kind of merging the two things. So as I mentioned, you have these creative endeavors and somehow you turn it into a business. And I feel like it's going to happen like almost like accidentally or very easily for you. Like if you started a business based on one of your passions next year, it would just take off. It would just be successful. You'd see profit right away or results or success right away. So I would say start that business, business next year because it's really going to pay off for Virgos. And then also some challenges you might face is that since Saturn will be in your sixth house, you might face some health issues, uh, maybe some, uh, what is the word, lethargic, being a little bit low energy at times, or uh, mind you, Saturn is going into your uh, sixth house in March. Um, so starting in March, maybe you experience a little bit of health issues, nothing major. I can't predict your entire like chart um, based on just Saturn's influence, but just watch out for health issues. And then obviously the positives of, of your life next year would be um, you're going to be taking your creative hobbies more seriously, your dating life is going to be popping, um, you're just going to be more in tune with the funner side of life if that makes sense. You're going to be indulging more, having fun, socializing, um, and then as I mentioned the challenge would be maybe health issues or overworking yourself too much. Um, but overall I feel like Virgos have a really good year. And then I also, I was doing a hundred subscriber giveaway and every time I get ready to talk about my giveaway for my hundred subscribers I gain more so I'm really really close to hitting a thousand subscribers and I'm not really sure what giveaway I'm going to do for that but I'm going to pick one and I will let you guys know but for my a hundred subscriber giveaway I did a spin the wheel random spin the wheel which I will insert And thank you guys so much for supporting me and believing in me. And I really appreciate it. If you guys haven't already seen my um, uh, recent purchase video, please go watch that. It has information about that past giveaway. But if you want more information about the new giveaway, I will be posting a video about that soon. Thank you guys so much again for supporting me. And this is the end of this video. Thanks for watching.